Hey everybody, Ben here with Diesel Power Products, and today we are talking about the Fleece Performance Engineering Grid Heater Delete for the 6.7 liter Cummins with the Ram 25 and 3500 trucks. This is going to cover anything from 2007 and a half all the way to 2018. Uh, there is a split in there. Uh, there's a separate part number for 07 and a half to 12 and 13 to 18. As far as the kit goes, 13 to 18 comes with an extension harness for the rail plug or rail pressure sensor. 07 to 12 does not. That's the only difference. So you may be thinking to yourself, grid heater delete, why would I want to do that? What advantages are there? Well, the stock grid heater on the truck, which resides right here, is extremely restrictive. It's, it's got, uh, it almost looks like a toaster with waves going over there as far as a heating element. And over years, that does get caked up and it just prevents all that airflow from getting into your engine. Keep in mind, this is your intake plenum here. After your turbo has compressed the air, shot it through the intercooler, it's cooled it down, and now it comes up through the intake manifold or the intake horn, and then goes right through here to feed all six of your cylinders. And with this, with a grid that's tightly wound and somewhat blocked up, it's not doing you any favors. So that's why Fleece offers something like this to get rid of the grid heater altogether and get some flow back into your turbocharging system. So as far as removing the grid heater, for those of you that live in actual cold climates during the winter, uh, maybe not the best idea because you are going to start having some hard cold starts. It's going to smoke a lot in the morning. It's going to take a long time to warm up. And before any of that happens, it's just not going to drive very well. So if you're that type of person that's always running late and basically starts the truck and has to get on the road, it's not going to be happy. It's not going to help you out. The caveat here is if you do remove the grid heater, but you always have a place to plug in your truck, and using the block heater, you shouldn't really have an issue. That's going to really pretty much take care of any kind of cold start issues. But if you're you know, out in the field or don't always have access to a block heater uh, or someone to plug in your block heater, removing the grid heater at wintertime, maybe not the best idea. Are there folks out there that you know get rid of the grid heater during the uh, summertime and put it back in for the winter? Absolutely. But uh, for those of you that are wanting to kind of do a one-time fix, uh, if you're looking to get rid of the grid heater in the cold months, just be ready to plug your truck in pretty much all the time or deal with a very, very angry Cummins. As far as gaskets go, this comes with a Molly gasket set. You've got your plenum gasket, your intake manifold gasket, and throttle valve gaskets. When's a good time to do this? Well, if you're going to be replacing the fuel rail, you're pretty much halfway there because this does require, require you to remove the fuel rail. If you're replacing your intake manifold, you're not too far off either because this requ requires you to remove the intake manifold. If you're doing this by itself, you got to remove the intake manifold and you got to take the rail off. Uh, nothing too crazy, but just uh, kind of steps that you need to plan for as far as putting this on your truck. So if you're wanting to enhance airflow on your 6.7 liter Cummins, definitely think about getting rid of that grid heater if you are somewhere that you can handle that as far as winters go. You'll see a better throttle response, better EGT control, and you should see a little increase in power because after all, you are removing your restriction. If you have any questions on this, do not hesitate to give us a call. We've got sales technicians on the phones, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time, Monday through Friday. They're happy to answer any questions you have. You can also go on the website. We have a live chat feature with one of our sales techs. You can email us, you can get on the social medias, whatever works best for you. We are here to help and give you the best tech information in the industry. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.